is April from The Noble Garden, and today we're going to talk about compost, and I'm going to show you some things that I put in my compost. This year's compost is not perfect. Um, it's actually in a location that I have now decided to be very inconvenient. Once my garden's up and the fence around it's up, I'm actually going to move the compost closer to the garden so it's easier for me to access and it's easier for me to water and till, uh, not till, but toss up and all that stuff. But last year I did a similar setup and it takes a while, but it does make me soil. Um, I unfortunately didn't get to use that soil last year because we moved. So what I do is, and this has gone a little excessive because I've been so busy, but I take the coffee pods that I use in my curd and I open them up. And of course the better quality coffee I would not use coffee that has different flavors in it, like a hazelnut coffee or something like that. This is just coffee, and it is used, of course. Um, I just save all the pods from my um, machine. This happens to be a Hawaiian coffee that I am totally addicted to. It tastes so good to me, but I have in the past used um, different types of coffee. Um, when I used to live, I had a girl at work that would bring me coffee. Um, that was very helpful too. That is another thing, like when it comes to coffee, coffee is considered, so, and I could post um, on here a picture of what I'm talking about when it comes to green and brown matter. You want your compost to be a mixture of green. and brown matter and coffee is actually considered a green matter which I love because coffee has a lot of minerals in it that people don't realize and um, I like that it's a green matter because green matter sometimes it's hard to get your hands on especially here in the winter one of the best green matters is when you mow your grass save your grass and throw your grass clippings in there of course right now we're not really mowing grass so coffee really helps with that because it's easy to get your hands on the brown matter. Um, good examples of brown matter is um, leaves, which is what I got a lot around here that I used. Um, of course, any type of tree products like that are going to consider brown matter. Um, cardboard, cardboard is actually another good one to put in your compost that's considered brown matter. I'm trying to think of a few more. I'm not the best at this, but like I said, <clears throat> I should be able to find you guys a list and put a list up there because there's a lot of options out there. Um, one thing I will show you guys is I do have this um, container that I bought for me to put kitchen scraps in. And I'll grab that in just a second and show you guys because I won't open up all this coffee. This will take me all day. I just wanted to talk to you guys about this a little bit. So this is my kitchen scrap container. I bought this off Amazon. I swear I buy everything off Amazon just about. But anyways, as we're, like usually my banana peels would be in here. Um, but banana peels, every time I eat a banana, I tell the kids throw the banana peel in here. Uh, right now it has potato peels from roaming potatoes last night. Citrus is actually not a real good one. Earthworms don't really like citrus that much, so that's not actually a good one to throw in here. Um, any salad leftovers or um, lettuce that you don't want to use or anything like that that's chick, uh, that is kitchen scraps can go in here and then you can dump this in your compost as well. And this, most of this we considered um, green matter. When it comes to kitchen scraps, actually, we're not the best at remembering to put stuff in there. That's what I'm telling you. For me, I'm glad coffee's green matter because it's kind of hard for me to get my hands on green matter. Brown matter is easy because all the leaves and stuff that I have around this property. This will be the last um, coffee that I dropped in here for you guys. And we'll talk about something else because, like I said, I'll do the rest of the depth of this coffee out 
on an um, off the camera because that'll take forever. So the other thing I like to do is these banana peels, and I might put these in my kitchen scratch. Because when they get, and I could try right now, but I like for them to get a little bit harder than this, and I'll throw them in a food processor. Um, but I don't, like this one might be hard enough, but I might just put that in the kitchen scrap and let it decompose with that. But one thing I do, eggshells. For calcium wise, they are one of the best things. Worms love them. They're one of the best things to put in um, compost. However, they take forever to break down. Um, I have put them in this compost hole, but what I normally do when I'm not being overwhelmed with everything else going on is I like to take a food processor, and I actually have a bigger one and I probably should dig it out. Um, I take a food processor and I grind this down to a powder. So much easier to use. One thing I like about these, these are my chickens, eggs from my chickens. And you can use store-bought eggshells. I've done that before. I had chickens. It's fine. But it's just nice knowing where these eggshells came from. but it is crushed up eggshells. See, that will decompose a lot easier than um, throwing whole eggshells in there. I know this is a little bit more time consuming, so like I said, I have thrown whole eggshells in there because I don't have time to mess with this. But right now, I just wanted to show you guys and I really wanted to put some, I really wanted to do this this time because I have so many big eggshells in there and I just don't want, I want it to break down. So if you can take five to 10 minutes of time of, I've been saving these, they're probably, probably over need it to be done. But if you could take five or 10 minutes every two weeks or so to do this, um, it is better to break them down for your guard, your soil. dump all these little coffee pods into this container as well and we will go outside and dump all of this in my compost pile. All right guys so these are the compost piles that I made I can't remember how long ago I have not been keeping up with them so I do not know what we're going to see underneath there I'm going to shuffle it around a little bit just to kind of see it has been raining the last two days and I am now out here hoping that it doesn't rain on me now as I do this but I really wanted to get these scraps and stuff into this pile um so right quick, let me shuffle it around a little bit and see what we got going on under here so far. You're supposed to shuffle this way more than I have. I know for a fact I have not shuffled this enough.
dump the coffee and stuff right here. I'm pretty sure this is the pal that had all those bananas that I got from my cousin, but I think they've already decomposed because I don't see them in there. I started the smaller pile because I wanted to start our second pile, but I think I'm just going to dump it on this other pile. Some other day, I guess I will, because I'm bottling rain, rain coming. I'll just cover this back. I get better about coming out here messing with that but and this is the sloppy way of doing compost and like I told you in the beginning of this video this will work I did it in the past I just I'm not close enough to a water hose so it's only getting water by rain that's why I want to move it closer to the garden once the garden is up and ready so I don't know what this how long this two piles will take to compost down however once I have the compost piles closer to the garden they'll get better care They'll get um, turned over like they're supposed to a little bit more, um, watered a little bit more. So they should break down a little bit faster. This one might take a little while. I do want to thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you learned a little bit about composting with me. Well, a little bit I know anyways. Um, I am learning. I hope you enjoy learning with me. And thank you for watching my videos. Remember, if you like my videos, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you.